Praise the Lord out there in cyberspace land, U2 land. I got a special message from the Lord today to release a prophetic 911 call, prophetic warning, a prophetic sign. You know, read your Holy Bible. The God of Israel always talked to his people in the Bible by dreams, like Solomon and Joseph and Jacob and Abraham. In the last 27 years, God has talked to me through dreams. Sometimes I see the dreams in minutes, in uh, hours, and days, and months, and years. It's in God's appointed time, His divine rendezvous. I do my best work when I'm sleeping, when my eyes closed, my ears open, my mouth shut. That's when the God of Israel will touch me and talk to me and show me the prophetic revelations of the future for I am his prophet to the nations his newspaper prophet to the nation and me and Betty are God's YouTube's prophet to the nations so today I'm talking about President Obama is the Antichrist God showed this to me first in January 2007 in a dream that me and my friend Apostle Paul Burst was going to Springfield, Illinois, to a theater to see the Antichrist. And next week, President Obama kicked off his presidential campaign in Springfield, Illinois. He was trying to put the greatest show on earth, like doing theatrical stuff and like a three-ring circus, to try to be Abraham Lincoln. He's no Abraham Lincoln. And State Illinois is in the land of Lincoln, too. I'm proud to be American here, U.S. citizen, the greatest nation on earth USA and then another dream God showed me uh, President Obama is a Muslim and then another dream God showed me I was walking in the White House and President Obama had a lot of people in there and I was coming up to him and I want to shake his hand I said President, President Obama I want to shake your hands and then he had fear in his eyes and what the fear was because when I shook his hands he felt the power of God that I'm God's prophet and then God allowed President Obama to be President of the United States the people want to change and they got to change but President Obama felt the real power of God and the other dream I had was uh, a month ago God showed me that President Obama the second time is Antichrist and I'm going to read a prophecy right here that God gave me on February the 14th, 2008. And this prophecy comes from the throne room of God. I faxed the 240 U.S. newspapers here to proclaim this prophetic word. The black race loves Barack Obama because he is a great white hope for the White House. This is not the race card, but the New World Order card. If Obama is elected President of the United States, the sovereignty of the United States will end. The Obama baby in nine months will birth the New World Order clones. The United States of America will become the United Nations of America. Barack Obama theme is change we can believe in is the New World Order agenda. Spending $200 million for a $200,000 job Something is not right here, and Abraham Lincoln will turn over in his grave today. Obama has that silver tongue to promise you the world, the moon, and the stars, but talk is cheap. What has Obama did for the average American citizen in the last three years in the U.S. Senate? In one word, it's nothing. In the last three years, Obama was one of the good old boys in the U.S. Senate that did nothing to help working people with not losing their jobs and houses. If Obama is elected president, the bad moon will be rising for the destruction of the USA, the New World Order gurus, and the United Nations of American pagans will destroy the United States of America in a million pieces. The Wizard of Oz has lost its cause. And You know, when Obama ran for president, it was called the Chosen One, the Messiah, the Wizard of Oz, you know. But I do this to warn the people today, to my subscribers out there, my friends, the people that does the web surfing there and out cyberspace, to give a warning in love, not condemnation and guilt. 
And the day after President Obama was elected President of the United States in the state of Illinois, there, there was a lottery and three picked, and their numbers were 666. That is the mark of the beast. In all the history of the Illinois lottery, pick three, there was never the 666 number in 34 years. Well, that was another sign from God. And President Obama's uh, car is called the beast. And in Revelation chapter 13, the beast is the Antichrist. That's another sign from God. So I just thank Jesus for warning you people out there today. And God's still in control. He's allowing these things to happen, but his Bible prophecy has to be fulfilled. And I pray today this sinner's prayer for you because you can see all the prophecy you can, and prophecy is good, but if you don't know Jesus Christ, you can listen to the prophecy and hear the prophecy and die and go to hell. you got to know Jesus Christ, your personal Savior. I'm going to say this prayer today, and if you want to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for forgiving me for my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for saving my soul. Jesus, my name's written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen, amen. You said that prayer today, Jesus Christ. He saved your soul. Give him the best hand clap as Jesus come into your heart. I just want to thank YouTube here for helping me. Uh, get the message out to shake the nations for the glory of God and me and Betty love you all Just keep uh, praying for us. Put your comments on our website uh, Emails if you need prayer requests and we give God all the praise and glory and honor and right now what you're seeing going on is Bible prophecy being fulfilled because in that prophecy on February the 4th 2008 is coming truth today in Washington, D.C., President Obama in the White House is, is fighting with U.S. Congress on this uh, debt ceiling limit. If they don't get something done, we're going to lose our triple A credit ratings. The dollar's going to lose the reserve currency of the world, the U.S. dollar. And I really think President Obama wants to destroy the United States of America, our sovereignty, and, and let us crash and default on the U.S. debt. And what Mr. Obama did on the Israel 1967 borders, that is uh, divine the Abraham blessing. That is going to bring the judgment we are seeing on the United States right now. I got one more thing to read in the Holy Bible. What well, God showed me one more sign that President Obama is Antichrist. That abomination and desolation sounds the same as abomination and desolation. It sounds the same, but it's spelled, spelled different and in. Your Holy Bible in Matthew chapter 24, verse 15. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by the prophet, by Daniel the prophet, standing in a holy place, whoso reason, let him understand. This is when the Antichrist in the mid tribulation, after three and a half years, he'll stand up and he'll raise his hands up and he said, I am God in the third Jewish temple in Jerusalem, Israel. And I thank you, YouTube, for letting me bring out the message today. Pray for me, me, baby. I'll be praying for you. I'm going to pray the many blessings of God over you today in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, bless your people. All over the nations, Lord, let the fire of God, your presence today, I pray, your anointing, your Holy Ghost and fire, your presence, oh God. We cry out to you, have mercy on the United States of America. Oh, God, let your reign it. Go marching on the Zion, your beautiful city of God. Let your people pray and fast like they never pray and fast for America. We hang in the balance. We're at the crosswords. We're in the valley of shadow of death. Have mercy on the United States of America. Oh, God, we love you today, God of Israel, Jesus, Savior, and Messiah. Thank you for this prophetic video. Shake the nations. Touch the people in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Boys. Let the fire of God get in the bosom. Let the fire fall on them. Out of God the full rivers of living waters. The showers of blessing. Let the fire fall. Let your anointing come down. Let the presence of God fall on them. Lord Jesus, your apostles, 
and prophets and evangelists and pastors and teachers in your fivefold ministry. Oh God, your white people, your black people, your red people, your young people, your brown people. This message today was given with the love of Jesus, not condemnation of guilt. I'm warning with love that President Obama is the Antichrist. Prepare, get your house in order. Your, your maker's returning soon. Get your house in order. It's an urgent 911 call, a spiritual 911 call. Oh God, we love you today. We praise you today. We lift up holy hands to the holy God. Oh God, we give you all the praise and glory and honor. Oh, this don't just uh, a video today. Let the fire of God fall on. Baptize them with the Holy Ghost and fire. Heal them in Jesus' name. Deliver them. Oh, by your stripes we are healed, God. Dr. Jesus, a great physician, the bomb of Galen. Oh, Lord Jesus. I lift up least the brother in ministry, me and Betty in Pinkneyville, Illinois. It's yours, God. Consecrated, dedicated, committed, sanctified. Oh, God, put the words in your in my mouth. Put your words in my mouth that I'll proclaim. Jesus Christ, King and King and Lord, Lord, you're returning soon. We love you in Jesus' holy name. Praise your holy name. Give Jesus a hand clap. Praise you, Jesus. Touch your day. Email me. Uh, put a comment on me and Betty's channel on YouTube in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. And may the many blessings of God bless you forever and ever. The hundredfold blessings. King Solomon blessings. Abraham blessings. Go ahead with that blessings for God's glory.